official leader of the opposition, and finally, as the third president of the Republic of Kenya, Emilio Mwai Kibake was a quintessential patriot whose legacy of civic responsibility will continue to inspire generations of Kenyans long into our future. We remember the values by which he lived, the ideals he embraced, his dignity, his diligence, his candor, and concern for the well-being of all Kenyans. As a leading figure in Kenya's post-independence history, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki earned the abiding respect and affection of the people of this nation and other nations throughout the world. President Kibaki will forever be remembered as a gentleman in Kenyan politics, a brilliant debater whose eloquence, wit, and charm won the day time and time again. His contributions in the Ministry of Finance and as Vice President saw Kenya's economy grow steadily, fueled by a commodities boom, as well as fiscal and monetary policies that were the backbone of his economic philosophy. Believing that Kenya was once again ripe for a vibrant multi-democracy, President Kibaki exited from government and led the charge to keep the ruling party accountable. His contributions to the restoration of multi-party democracy as the leader of the official opposition, combined with his track record and impressive credentials made Mwai Kibaki the natural choice for selection as the opposition consensus candidate against my own candidature in the year 2002 and the presidential elections that followed thereafter. On the 30th of December 2002, Mwai Kibaki was sworn in as the third president of the Republic of Kenya. He served as head of state and government until the 9th of April, 2013. The late former president's administration conceptualized and spearheaded transformation in crucial sectors such as education through the globally lauded free primary education program infrastructure developments in transport and energy, and the increasing the availability and access to health care for his fellow Kenyans. In honor of this great statesman, Kenya remains committed to maintaining policies that promote economic and social empowerment, democracy, the rule of law, and respect for human rights. The late President Kibaki championed the realization and objectives of the East African Community Common Market of trade liberalization for the citizens of partner states of the East African community. His inclusive spirit and conviction for economic empowerment transcended the territory of Kenya towards cross-border economic stability. The late former president's central role in shepherding Kenya into a new constitutional dispensation at the culmination of a decade-long quest is a towering legacy that immortalizes President Kibaki. We can take comfort in the inspiring legacy of ideals and examples of devotion to his country, which he bequeathed to us all 
more so with our new constitutional dispensation. His dedication and love for our country undoubtedly honors Kenya, East Africa, Africa, and in the world. He leaves behind a more united and prosperous Kenya, as well as a template for servant leadership, which we must continue to nurture and improve for generations to come. An honest passing, today we once again renew our pledge in tribute to our great leader to foster. As we mourn the passing of an icon, we can rejoice in the lifelong companionship he enjoyed with his now departed wife, Her Excellency Mama Lucy Kibaki, and his extended family. Today, our sincere sympathy to his children, Judy Wanjiko, Jimmy Kibaki, David Kagi, and Tony Githinji, and to their families, and for all who mourn the passing of this great leader. As the late former president served Kenya, Africa, and the world, he also remained a deeply devoted family man, an avid golfer, and an earnest friend to many. To them we say that while Emilio Omwai Kibaki is no longer with us in body, his spirit, legacy, values, and ideals live on in each one of us and in the limitless ways that he made Kenya immeasurably better. Mwai Kibaki lives on in the hearts of millions of Kenyans, East Africans, and Africans who benefited from his leadership, admired his character, and were inspired by his example. Mwai Kibaki lives on in our fond memories of his strength of will, his charm, his wit, and his passionate love for God, for family, and for nation. In honor of the life and times of the late former President Emilio Stanley Mwai Kibaki, and on behalf of a grateful nation, I, Uhuru Kenyatta, under the authority vested in me as the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, do hereby order and direct that one, in testimony of the highest of esteem in which all Kenyans hold the purpose of Mwai Kibaki, the nation will observe a period of national mourning from today until sunset. That President Mwai Kibaki shall be accorded a state funeral with full military honors and protocols being rendered and observed. Three, that the flag of the Republic of Kenya shall be flown at half-mast at State House and all Kenyan diplomatic missions, public buildings, public grounds, all military bases, posts, and stations on all naval vessels of the Republic of Kenya and elsewhere throughout the entire territory of the Republic of Kenya from today until sunset on the day of his internment. And four, that the President, the Deputy President, the Chief Justice, Cabinet Secretaries, the Speaker of the National Assembly, 
the Speaker of the Senate, Kenya's diplomats abroad, and whomsoever else is so authorized by law, national flag on their official motorcade from today, sunset on the day of his internment. May Pre President Kibaki's family be comforted, may his memory be honored, and may his example be emulated. This issued under the hand and seal of the President at State House Nairobi on the 22nd day of April, the year of our Lord, 2022. Nam Rashid Abdallah na mpenzi mtazamaji kama unaviona hapo ni hafla ama ni taratibu ya kuteremsha bendera na inajulikana kama last post uh, kwa taratibu za kijeshi ambapo uh, bendera ile itashushwa na mlio fulani ambayo sio uh, wimbo wa taifa na itakuwa ni yenye kusalia nusu mlingoti Uh, kwa swala zima la ku uh, masikitiko ama la maomboleza maombolezi yake uh, rais Mwai Kibaki ambaye ametangazwa uh, ama imetangazwa rasmi na rais Uhuru Kenyatta kwamba uh, Kibaki amekuwa ni mwenye uh, kuaga dunia hii leo na bila shaka kwa sahihi taarifa ni kwamba Emilio Stanley Mwai Kibaki rais wa tatu wa jamhuri ya Kenya Uh, mzaliwa wa katika kijiji cha uh, Kerugoya kule ameweza kuaga dunia leo tarehe 22 mwezi wa 4 mwaka 2022 uh, na alizaliwa tarehe 15 mwezi wa 11 mwaka 1931 kumbuka pia aliwahi kuwa naibu wa rais wa nne wa jamhuri ya Kenya kuanzia mwaka 1978 hadi mwaka 1988 katika sifa ambazo anaenziwa yeah. nazo mm. ni aliwafanya akiwa kama waziri wa fedha mwaka 1969 hadi mwaka 1981 na, na unajua hasa ni chikifo cha Mwai Kibaki kinatendeka wakati ambapo amekuwa midomoni mwa wanasiasa hususan wakati kabla makadirio ya bajeti kusomwa na baada ya kusomwa watu wengi wakisema kwamba aliwafanya kabla kuondoka kabla kustaafu 